In the last lecture, we understood what DTOs are and how they are important. So now we can come back to the application and see what we created. If we see the first method, we are getting all the regions back. If I hover over the regions object, you can see that it is the list of domain model region. And we are sending the domain model back to our client. In this case, it's Swagger. And that is the that is the thing that we were talking about in the last section that this is coupling our domain model to the API view layer, which is not a good practice. We have to convert this to DTOs and expose DTOs to the outside layer instead. So the first thing is I will write comments over here. We first have to get data from database and this is your domain models then we have to map this domain models to DTOs and this is where the mapping in happen and finally we return the DTOs back to the client so we never return the domain models back to the client we always return the DTOs so let's create a DTO for this get all region method. So let's go to models. And in here, I will create a separate folder for DTOs. So right click on models, add a new class or a new folder. And I will stop the application as well. I will name this new folder as DTOs or just DTO is fine as well. Inside the DTO folder, I will create a new region DTO. So right click, add a new class and I will call this region DTO. Click on the add button. Now this region DTO will have properties that we want to expose back to the client. And as you saw in the definition, this DTO can be a subset of the domain model. That is, it can have one or multiple properties from here. So if you want to expose the ID, you can include that property in the DTO. If you want to expose the code as well, you can include that property over here. And similarly for all of them. As per our requirement, we want to expose everything back to the client. So I'm copying everything and pasting it inside the region DTO. It may feel like this is redundant data, but trust me, this is the best practice and we are decoupling our region domain model from the view layer of the API. Now that we have the region domain model, we can come back to the regions controller and in our comment over here, we have to now convert this regions domain model into a region DTO object, which is also a list. So let's first create a list. So where regions DTO is equal to new list of, and now I want a list of region DTO. So region DTO that comes from the DTO folder. So have that using statement at the top. And once I have the list created, I want to for each I want to loop on the regions or that I have and convert all these regions to region DTOs. So I will need a for each loop where I am iterating through all the regions inside this list. And I can now say add a new region DTO and now I will map in the individual properties. So ID is coming from the region domain model dot id and then similarly code is coming from region dot code the name is coming from the name property and finally the region image url is coming from this dot region image url if this is confusing to you you can also name this as regions domain or domain model, anything that will make your life easy is fine. So now if I want to rename it like that, that is also fine. And I will also name the individual item in that domain list as region domain. So I'm just converting that. 
you can pause this video over here and just confirm if you have the exact same code as me over here so basically just to iterate it one more time we are getting the regions to main model from the database then we are converting the domain model into a DTO and looping through the domain model I'm converting individual item inside the domain model into a DTO so now that I have the regions DTO populated with the DTO models I can send this now to the client so now we are following the practice that we are exposing the DTOs instead of domain models. This should work exactly the same as we saw in the initial video, but now we are following best practices and we have a separation of concern as well. Similar to the above, we also want to change the second method that we have, which is get by ID. So first of all, I can comment here that get region domain model from database once I have the region domain model you can just rename that as well once I have that I will check if it is null if it is null just return a not found back but if it is not null now I want to map the or map or convert anything you want to say is fine so we want to map the region domain model to region DTO so let's do the conversion now I want to create a region DTO is equal to new region DTO and let's map the property similar to before I can just reuse this information from here copy and paste it but if you want to type it out you can surely type it out you can pause the video over here and type it out so once the region DTO is ready now instead of the domain model we pass the region DTO back so return DTO back to client and this is also following best practices and we have modified this method it looks different but internally it just does the same exact thing as we did before so if I start the application to test our application again we should receive the same results now our application is running and I will expand on the regions and try this out so click on the execute button and if I scroll down I get the same 200 success response and I only have one region inside the database so I'm getting that I will copy the ID and try to test the second method which we also changed so try it out pass the ID of the region that exists click on the execute button this should give us a 200 success response as well and if the ID was not present I'm just giving an arbitrary uh, GUID which is not present in a database click on the execute button and we should receive the 404 so you can see that we have modified our existing methods and we are now using DTOs to expose to our clients and domain models to map uh, our application to the database. In the next lecture, we will go ahead and create a new region by getting information from the client.